When I was younger, 10 years old at the time, my mom had just started letting me stay home alone. We had been watching my mom's friend's dog while they were on vacation. My mom worked weeknights, so she told me that they would come around back since the dog's cage was right next to the back door, and that I would have to let them in. I sat in the den by the back door, with the dog by my side while I watched TV. He then started to growl and bark while looking out the window to the dark. I tried to see what he was barking at, but it was too dark. Of course, I assumed it was my mom's friend coming to pick up the dog. I went over to the door with the dog following me and turned on the patio light. I couldn't see anyone out there at first, but the dog was still barking. I made sure to peek at every corner of the yard, but then I saw someone at the garden by our shed. It looked like my mom's friend. They seemed to be bending over, picking something up. I assumed she was admiring my mom's garden or something logical. I then received a disturbing phone call. I prioritized answering the phone, as my mom was strict about me always answering the phone when I was home alone. I left the dog to continue barking by the door as I picked up the phone, hoping it was my mom. And it was. She told me that her friend wasn't going to pick up the dog that night, as they wouldn't be getting home until past midnight. I began to stutter as the pure horror prohibited me from speaking coherently. I managed to finally blurt out that someone was in our yard, and my mom started screaming like a lunatic. She told me to get up to my room, lock the door, and hide under the bed while my mom called the cops. I obeyed and laid there in silence for a good ten minutes, until I got a knock at the door. I sprang up and out of the room, making it halfway down the stairs, when I saw a face looking in through the window of our front door. This face, a guy, staring right at me. A face so unsettling that it disturbs me thinking of it today. I screamed at the guy that the police were on their way. He didn't move. He insisted on just staring at me like a statue. I ran all the way back upstairs, tripping twice, and back to my room. I waited another few minutes before another knock came at the door, followed by a muffled shouting noise. It was the police this time. They scanned the whole premises, but the guy was gone. They took me into custody until my mom arrived at the station. After that incident, she started having a babysitter watch me again, all the way until I was 12.